Hello my dudes, here we are back with another newly review. Is this one literally over a month late? Yes. If you haven't watched these before, Newly is a clothing rental service that I've been a big fan of and I rent clothes and then I show them to you and I say, hey, was this good? This particular Newly was for the month of December, so I was supposed to return it at the end of December. Nathan and I went to England to celebrate Christmas with his family. It was wonderful, I got to wear a lot of this, but then I got home and the thought of rushing to film this review and send it back was too annoying, frankly. So I kept it for another month, which means I've now been charged twice for this one newly. Probably not good, not a good financial decision. And on top of that right now, I don't feel like filming because I've been sick and I still feel shitty right now. But am I gonna be brave because a whole nother month has passed and I have to return this fucking newly and if I don't film it, then what was the point of all this? So anyway, hi, I'm in a really good mood. Welcome back. Uh, I don't think you guys have really seen like this whole angle of my office since I finished decorating it. So I'm really excited because I think it looks really good if I do say so myself. It's kind of like old lady core. Most of the artwork is thrifted. I got a lot of it on eBay. Got this lovely thrifted lamp. It's called a Tiffany lamp. I was obsessed with them and I found out their name is the same as mine. Literally, who would have thought? This is an actual woven tapestry. It's of the Cotswolds. And yeah, I, I thought it would not I, uh, <laughs> I thought it would fill up the nice big wall well. And here we are. Okay, first item is this lovely pair of corduroy pants that I'm wearing. And I'll tell you right off the bat, I am so fucking tempted to keep these. Is my closet overflowing so much that there are piles of clothes everywhere? Yes. Did I just do a closet clean out and I'm still struggling? Yes. But are these pants really nice? Yes, they are. <laughs> they're very like roomy. So they're the most comfortable pants that I've been wearing lately, especially through the holidays, eating all the goodies. They're also a great length on me and they're corduroys and they're this lovely like rust. Do you call this like a burnt orange? Just look at the color scheme, you know? I love my warm woods. I just feel like this all fits in very well. But how much are they? And can this purchase be justified? These are the Misha Corduroy Wide Leg Pants. They are Newly X Favorite Daughter. They retail for $228. Newly price is $127. $127! I can't be spending that on pants. But I will miss these pants. So it's kind of sad. Especially now that I've had them for two months. They feel like they're mine. Come on. 100 fucking 27 dollars. I'm cursing a lot in this video. Sorry for the swear words. It's because I'm really hot. I'm already struggling. I might just have to keep them and deal with the consequences. Anyway, let's continue. Most of this newly is coats because I thought, ooh, December, it'll be fun to wear some different coats. But then I ended up buying a new puffer. So like I've been wearing my new puffer in the coldest weather. Though I will say these coats have been good for anything like above freezing. All right, I have a shirt. Here's a thing too. I'm growing out my hair as I think I mentioned in a recent video and as evidenced by my roots. But I've been growing out my bangs for I feel like a while and they're still not long enough to hang out behind my ears. And it's driving me mad because all I want is for this to not happen. So bobby pins have been my best friend, and yet, <laughs> the little beauty guru. All of the bobby pins I have, my massive collection, they're like shedding, the paint is coming off, so I get little black specks of paint on my hands and in my hair when I'm trying to just bobby pin my silly bangs back. Such inconveniences. Anyway, jackets. This one. It's so funny because in the time that I had this newly and I was wearing outfits, when I wore a good outfit and I got a good combination, I would be like, oh, I gotta take a picture, save this for the newly. But now in the moment, the thought of trying to put together those exact outfits, I don't have the energy for it. This shirt looks bad with this, but try, try to see past it, okay? This would look better with like a light shirt, maybe even a white shirt. I realized I don't like cropped jackets ever, but I have to be careful because I am short ish so i can't have jackets that are too long so anyway then i go for these kind of big bulky kind of coats but because it's not cropped i feel like it still does help uh the proportions <laughs> this is the monique sherpa jacket by lisa says ga retails for 158 newly price is 105 and this was a good one i i love a green i love the pattern 
I think this is fine. This is kind of the epitome of a newly piece to me, like something bold that I usually wouldn't buy because I don't think I would wear this too often, but I did enjoy it many times throughout the months that I have this newly. And now it's time to go. Next up. This one was kind of silly because I own a similar jacket and I have newly a similar kind of jacket before. I guess I'm into the brown fuzzy jackets. And I know I said I don't like cropped jackets, but this one is indeed rather cropped, I'd say. But again, we were going for a vibe this time. I was going for like funky 70s-ish. To me, just brown. Brown is 70s. True or false. But again, does it make me feel a little bit like a blueberry? Sometimes. This kind of jacket I think only looks good on me when my arms are in the pockets and I'm chilling like this. Otherwise, blueberry. This one was okay, I wore it a few times. Again, nothing, nothing to write home about, but I enjoyed it for a moment. Also, I've had a nail saga for a long time. I got my nails done like last year and I fucked up my nails. Cause I got gel nails done and then I tried to remove them at home and that was stupid. And then I damaged my nails and it took a long time for them to grow back out and thicken again. Since then I've been painting my nails and certain nail polishes I have stain my nails <laughs> and they've stained my nails a lovely yellow, like an orangey color. So then if I don't paint my nails, they just look, oh yeah, you can see that there. Some of these nails still have the hint right at the tip, but then some of them, I'd say the pointer finger I think is good now and the pinky. But anyway, I keep like, I'm trying to let my nails breathe now and not stain them again. But every time I catch a glimpse of the yellow, I'm like, ah, especially in the light, like shining through it. It's okay. I just want my nails to be healthy again. They used to be so healthy. Why did I do this to myself? This is the Isla Corduroy Puffer Jacket from BDG. Retails for $129, newly priced is $72. And another corduroy pick. I wouldn't really say, this isn't corduroy, obviously. It's fuzzy, but it's like a fuzzy corduroy looking thing. So obviously you might say corduroy on corduroy is too much, and I would disagree. By the way, gotta give a shout out to one of my favorite podcasts, lately. It is called Articles of Interest. It's basically about clothing and I find it so interesting. I have listened to probably every episode multiple times because I like to listen to podcasts when I'm going to sleep. So it's great for re-listens in that way. But there was an episode about corduroy and how corduroy, I guess in different places is seen as like either chuggy or like a rural thing or like an outdated kind of style. I don't know. There's a lot of baggage, cultural baggage with corduroy and I had no idea. I just love corduroy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just different. But I would highly recommend listening to that episode. It's called the Corduroy Appreciation Club. But anyway, this is not corduroy, so that's fake. Um, fake much? Then we have, hi Clarky. I haven't even introduced you to the camera. That's so rude. Come on, up, up. This is my dog Clark, as you know. He's so good. He's such a good boy. He just sits in the background. He's getting a little bored because it's almost time. In the afternoon, he starts being like, when is Nathan getting home? Because Nathan is the fun one and I'm boring all day and I just sit on my computer trying to do work, trying to make a living, Clark, I'm sorry. But he says, mom, just play with me. That's all I want. This is the Gaia coat from French Mauve. French Mauve, definitely not pronounced that way. We're going to France. Um, we still haven't gone on our honeymoon and we got married like a year and a half ago. We've rescheduled it multiple times, but we're going to France soon-ish this year. And is my French completely gone? Yeah. Is it gonna be embarrassing? <laughs> yeah. But is it gonna be really fun? Yes. Anyway, this jacket, didn't tell you how much it was. Retails for $240, newly priced is $84. Holy shit, 65% off. But here's the thing, looking at it, it's very pilly, which I'm sure could be fixed with some of that, um, there's like a tool that helps you get rid of pilling and makes your clothes look refreshed. But this is a rental, so I'm not doing that and I don't own that tool. Um, but I do love a coat like this and obviously, hello, look at this combination, this is fucking sick. If I do say so myself, look at this outfit. Now, what I said before, I think my favorite coats are actually this length of coat. So what I said about not wanting to wear long coats was misleading and untrue, frankly. I'm a liar. Um, <laughs> I like this length because I feel like it enhances my vertical line. 
No, I'm just talking shit. I don't know how any of that works. I just like a long coat. I like the way they make me feel. I do find that sometimes I struggle to know when in the year to wear these coats. Like I feel like this is a perfect fall coat though. With climate change, the weather just keeps changing. So some weeks it's freezing and then some weeks it is warm enough to wear this, which isn't a good thing. But again though, I feel like the color scheme here, it's dangerous. It makes me wanna buy these pants. I would say I wanna buy this jacket, actually. That is pretty cheap. But again, I don't love the fabric and I actually just bought a similar coat on ThreadUp. So this was not meant to be. Hmm, okay. So this coat, different pattern. These are very similar. Like this one has red, brownie beige and navy. But this feels a lot more business than the other one. I don't know, I don't know now. But I like this material more because it's not nearly as pilly as the other one. I'm, I don't even, I keep struggling with the pockets. I don't know. I feel like the pattern on this jacket is cooler than the other one, but I don't know if that's true. The other one feels a little businessy and this one feels more cool casual. This is why clothing is an addiction and it's dangerous and I need to chill out. And this is why newly reviewees can be so, so difficult for me because as fun as it is to show you guys this, I'm like, frankly, my closet is full. I don't need any more newlies. I think I've already been charged for the next one, so now I have to, probably have to order another one because I've already been charged for it. <laughs> but I don't need it. I have enough clothing. I have to stop. It's fun, but I have to chill out. Then we have this coat. I'm gonna smell it, which might seem weird to you. When I unboxed this coat, it smelled very bad. It smelled like warehouse. It smelled almost just like, you know that like moldy clothing smell? And it was all in this jacket because it's like a very puffy layered jacket. Um, so I was immediately obviously bummed out because I was like, mm, definitely don't want to wear that. <laughs> I left it out, I tried to air it out, I sprayed it with some Febreze a couple times. I literally don't even want to put it on because I don't want to smell like it. It doesn't smell nearly as bad as it did when I first got it but it does still have a bit of something. Just the thought of it now. And again, I lied about wearing a cropped jacket because look at this cropped jacket. Now, obviously I love the color. I love a green. I like the hood. I like how puffy it is. I was like, you know what? Again, this was before I bought my new puffer. So I was thinking, oh, I could use a cute little fluffy puffer. Kind of interesting. Like it's got this little, you could like open it up on the side there. I don't know why you would, but you could. It's fine. It smells pretty, pretty normal now, <laughs> which is not something you want. Uh, most of my newly stuff always smells fine and they do have a cleaning process. I'm not sponsored by them. They should be sponsoring me after all this free promotion I've given them in the years. But uh, yeah, no, this one for whatever reason just uh, did not smell nice at all. And then it put me off and I obviously didn't want to wear it because it smelled weird and I was scarred. That being said, the puffer jacket that I bought, long story, long story short, here we go. I bought my new puffer jacket. It arrived. I ordered three because I wanted to try different colors and lengths. And then I picked the one I liked. I returned the other two. My new jacket was hanging on my coat hanger, coat rack <laughs> in the living room. I walk by it like the next day and I catch a whiff and I'm like, ugh. And I thought it was like, dog smell. I was like, what is that? Like, is it the rug over here? I had a saga. I don't know if I told you guys about this. A couple months ago, Nathan cleaned one of our rugs, but it didn't dry out enough when he um, went back over it. And so that rug got musty and moldy. We tried to clean it multiple times over weeks and weeks and it didn't work and nothing helped. And so I got haunted by the, the smell of it. And the whole time Nathan said he couldn't smell it. And I was like, you're losing it because I can smell this now throughout the entire house. We ended up having to throw that rug away and buy a new living room rug. So that was just a couple weeks before. Then all of a sudden, same thing with this new jacket that I'm so excited about and I was gonna wear it to England. I go, I just smell the smell. And the first time I wore it, I could smell it right on the inside. And I was like, ew, I smell weird. What is this? I asked Nathan and he goes, I can't smell anything. And I'm like, it's like nasal gaslighting, you know? He wasn't trying to gaslight me, but I was like, your nose must be broken because I can surely smell this. I'm not crazy. But then he kept thinking I was just like, maybe I was really focused on it and I, maybe my nose was making it up. Maybe it was psychosomatic, but no, it was real. I washed a brand new puffer and then I put it in the dryer and you have to be really careful to make sure it's fully dry. And then like a day later, it still smelled again, the smell came back. And I was like, I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking done. So I returned it. The store let me return it. 
and then they sent me a new one. And I was like, what are the chances that this would happen again? It did. <laughs> the new jacket comes in again. It's fine for the first day. The second day I smell it on the coat rack and I'm like, truly, is my brain messing with me? Is this a phantom smell that I'm making up? But no, I did smell it. It was the same smell as before. I was like, what the fuck is going on? But I was like, I'm not returning it. I need to fix it. I had to air that jacket out outdoors for like two days straight in the sun. I sprayed it with um, some kind of odor remover. I was gonna spray it with vodka, but we don't have any vodka in the house. I'm not a fan of vodka and Nathan's allergic. So I was gonna buy vodka because apparently that's like a theater trick and it helps get smells out of old clothes and costumes. But finally, after wearing the jacket out a couple of times, I think it just got sufficiently aired out and now it's normal and it's fine. Thank God, that was not long story short. Um, but anyway, so this jacket, I'm sick of jackets smelling. It's a horrible, horrible thing. I'm done. <laughs> that was the water resistant puffer from Avec Les Fee. Retails for $159, newly priced is $73. Wow. All right, we only have one more item. Let me show you. So these pants are not anything like what I thought they would be. And I was genuinely like surprised <laughs> when I opened my newly. Love that you can just fully see this metal zipper. It's like, that should not be so, so visible. They're extremely lightweight. They're like almost, they feel like linen. So extremely lightweight, but like weirdly shapeless. I love a trouser, but this is not it for me. These are the Kala pleated trousers from Free People. Retail for $98, newly priced 71. Now, what the hell do they look like in the pictures? Cause they're just so wrinkly. Obviously they're a little long on me. Like I could have worn some bigger shoes and made it work, but just the general shape of everything. They're actually pretty comfy. There's not like stretch in the waist. So I don't know how comfy they would actually be, but like in the leg, super comfy. They feel like I'm wearing like pajama pants. In the pictures, they look good, but they also are not wrinkly. Again, I could have tried to steam these, but it just wasn't, <laughs> wasn't worth my time. And if you wear them with a belt, they just, they look better on the model than they do on me. Let's, let's be real. Even if I added a belt, it wouldn't, it wouldn't fix the problem. Anyway, a terrible way to end this newly, <laughs> but I'm excited to send all this stuff back, finally. I am sad about the corduroy pants, but if they're really meant for me, I can try to find them. Maybe I can buy them elsewhere for a cheaper price. And that's that, I uh, again feel tired. And now I gotta go to the UPS store. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for a future newly review -ly. I'm not gonna pick four or five coats in the next episode. Okay, thanks, bye. Bothered me, I didn't finish putting my hand in my pocket. Oh, look at the good boy. Oh, big stretch. Hello, the meester. Hello, the handsome Bobby handsome. Wow, what a dog. Am I right? Is he the sweetest doggy of all time?